Alright, fellas, I took it for a ride real quick, about eight blocks around. Coming right out of the garage, I was stalling every friggin' thing else while it was cold. And I come to figure out the uh, distributor. I had to advance the distributor or whatever I'm doing really hard this way, which I, number one, is way over here so it's almost hitting the firewall like that side so I'm, i figure i'm off a tooth when i put it together the first uh, the last time uh, i took this apart two or three times the distributor for the intake and the cam you know going back and forth back and forth putting the stock cam back in getting the other cam when i finally got the uh performance cam i took it apart again and i couldn't get the distributor to drop in right where i wanted it and i knew it was going to give me a problem so yes i'm off by a tooth because this distributor where it's sitting now it should be sitting like that number one is here so it's it, it gives me a pop and misfire all that crap i have to advance it this way and it runs a little better which it ran enough for me to go around eight blocks it even smoked the one tire up problem is i did bring you with me i forgot the damn at uh, atf card and i couldn't film any of that so what i'm going to do now is uh i'm waiting for the car to cool down the truck to cool down and I'm going to bring it over one tooth towards the right, counterclockwise, I guess. Let me see. Clock is going this way. No, uh, clockwise. I'm going to go one tooth over clockwise. I'll let it drop in without even checking on all that, and then uh, start her up again. I got to go. I got to get a timing light. I don't have a timing light. I need a timing light. So we can get this thing timed exactly where it should be. I like to give it 36 degrees advanced timing so that it's always ready to roll. Because this is, again, street driven. And I don't need to retard the timing and, you know, to 34 and then back to 36. 36 should be right for a Chevy, I think. I know it was for my Chrysler. Uh, I believe 36 is good for a Chevy too. 36 degree in advance and that way it's ready then i'll start working on the stuff like i used to do my car reducing the springs uh the events timing springs reducing the weight on those so it'll spin up quicker uh start doing all the jets uh for this because see right now i'm in the confused mode of why it ain't running everything is brand spanking new i mean brand new dude everything came out of a box and she's given me a lot of like you know difficulties so i i believe that's what the problem is right there first of all it's the timing okay i got it turned so hard and uh, my rpm tax says it's now 800 uh RPMs instead of uh, 600 like it was before and you can barely uh, even hear the cam because of that it's up you know 800 uh, when you're in idle I mean when you're in a uh, park you now when you're driving you can hear it at a stop sign I did listen to it uh, I didn't power brake it all I did was stomp it down and she left a lot of tire meat out on the street i passed by a tire shop they was all outside watching because i i did a burnout the block before and then they they heard me coming so they was all waiting and watching and i did a nice bigger burnout uh in front of their shop so we're going to be doing that next i'm waiting for it to cool down and then we'll I might take it out for another ride 
to see if it's idling right. I mean, it's enough. I, you can drive it like it is, but I don't like it. You can hear, still hear this one little pop in it. Pop every once in a while. Here comes the train. Hold on. You can hear it popping like a misfire, which tells me that's what's wrong. The stripper is off by one two. Down at the gear. Um, because it ain't it ain't starving from gas, because look at that. It's still full. I, I finally fixed that issue. That was a bad issue. And that had me confused too between over there, over here, and the carburetor itself. So I'm going to uh, shut down right now. Uh, if and when I take this for a ride, I will cut you back on and take you out with me for one small ride. Alrighty, YouTube. This is it. Let me, let me make sure. That up. This is it. The mating gorge. I had a timing issue. I had to bring up number one and uh, set it up. So let's reset the timing. This time, I'm absolutely sure it's fine. Got two keys in it, so I one is. Started up. I got the timing perfect. Let's see here. Let me get you on the dashboard here as I'm driving. Listen to the engine. I also got it. I also. Uh, uh, re-registered it so I'm legal to drive it's been insured never never it's about the insurance always insuring the two vehicles in this. oh shit I got a fucking dog outside TK let me put her right through the kitchen I how did she sneak past me I thought she was in the sofa when I fucking walked out to get the uh, camera. Be right back. Well, as you could see, as for as usual, now it's drizzling. Now we got fucking drizzle coming down. I'll still go rough for a little ride around here. Make sure it's running nice. Let me see, I'm trying to get to level. I guess it's a little. And that's straight right up against the windshield there with the raindrops. Let me see, wipers work? I don't even check. It's working. I haven't used this friggin' car in a fucking year I can't even feel it you can't even feel it it's just smooth even with the solid motor mounts it's so smooth
Yeah. What's up, man? You know the guy who owns this truck? I believe he lives right here, but I ain't. I've been trying to get his attention. I believe he, he might not be home. Open the valve covers up again and go another eighth of a turn because I'm hearing them black away like they were uh, solid rockets. That must be uh, when it got hot. That's why you need that preload because once it warms up, you get a little space. Another thing I'm not noticing is, is this thing shifting. I do have it to the vacuum, to the carburetor, to the transmission, to the modulator. But without that, it won't shift. So right now, actually, I'm just giving it, you know, a cruise. Because it is raining. Started breathing, a little harder and harder. I was going to put you down somewhere, you do a burnout, come back and pick you up. But I don't know, it feels like a am I, am I spinning the wheels as I'm driving now. shift out of it first. Right at 
83 degrees in temperature. And then when I'm driving, it's 30 pounds of pressure. And I got my first two miles in. At <laughs> 1.9. Actually, it says here the trip miles, but the old is says two miles. <laughs> Charging at 13. 13, 1, here and there, it goes down. Uh, 12, 9, and 13, 1. So, like that, gasoline is uh, just sloshing around because it goes up and down. The number is running up and down from 94 all the way to, you know, down to 92. My RPMs are 6. Chester, it's a very small town. I just went out of Chester, but where I just came back from, well, when you see me enter, I went into Marcus Hill. Came out of Chester into Harden Marcus Hill. And then I, I came back, you know, you see where I made the U-turn, that was Marcus Hill itself. And came back, and when, I, when you seen the gas station, that was Chester. And that was 9th Street. And now, Uh, 291. 291 is uh, go beyond this light straight back. You'll hit the Delaware River. Well, 291 would be the same as Columbus Avenue in Philadelphia, except they have nothing out here. Absolutely nothing. There isn't even a Burger King in this area or a McDonald's. Or turkey fry, nothing. This is Chester. Here's my street that I live at. I mean, well, along the street I live at. Oh yeah, I can't even get. I can't get on it. No way. Here's the street I left that burnout that day. I said I couldn't bring it with me because I forgot the damn card. Camera. to stop so we can start all over again
to go is put it in my parking hole and uh, leave the daily driver in the yard so I can wait the rain out and then we can go do this one time burnout because I don't like to abuse my vehicle I made this so I can drive it on the street and take it to the track and have fun that's when I take a little abuse to it but other than that I don't want to abuse it at all and I don't like the way that's tapping so the next after that burnout I'll show it because I need to drop this on the YouTube once I do that burnout I'm going to readjust the, the valves again all right that was the first ride not bad real smooth fantastic uh, drive it was nice and smooth I mean even with the solid mounts I'm starting to feel you know the little idiosities here and there but it's cool and uh, as you can see raindrops all over so it needs a wash so let it let it rain on it because it's been uh, locked up under the tarp forever and uh, it's been uh, what do you call it uh, it's sitting under a tarp for almost a year and in the garage the rest of this time all right Andy man Lou out oh wait let me let you do that let me let you watch this uh, action with the dogs. Every time I go to the store or whatever, this is what happens when I come home. Hey, 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 speedometer working we go about 32 mile an hour here's my oil pressure when I'm stepping on gas and uh, that's the temperature right now 67 degrees fluctuating back and forth 66 67 68 I mean it's climbing up we're running at 13.0 on the battery charging and uh, currently I'm driving at cruising speed right now at 33 mile an hour it's 1900 and as the cooler it gets I mean the hotter it gets the more you hear the tapping on the outside as soon as when I first started it up nice and quiet engine so that means I do have to go in another quarter turn, I mean an eighth of a turn or a quarter turn on the uh, on the uh, valve covers, that's going to be my job tomorrow. That will be the first thing in the morning I'll be doing. I'm going to go put it in the garage now because I wanted to do this burnout for you on live on the YouTube and the first thing I want to do is uh, readjust the valves, readjust the rockers it's not that bad no more since I cut out that piece It'll come right out so 
So we put five miles on this since we first started driving. Right there. Right there. Oh, now it went to six mile an hour. Right there. Six miles I put on this tack. Or on this engine with the new heads and new cam. Just feel the power like I'm, I'm holding it, it just keeps on picking up, picking up, picking up. Like, I'm not actually, you can tell a difference when you pick when you have something that's working right. See, I live right down here on a dead-end street where the train comes by to my house there and my spacious yard out here which is gated it's not just somebody just walk it in let me go unlock the gate I'm gonna uh, back her into the garage I gotta go unlock the garage I gotta do all that all right now so it is the burnout and here's the uh, actual proof that she's running. I think after I tighten up the valves tomorrow, I will take it for the first ride on 95. GPS is working there. I don't know about over here yet. Sorry, I'm one hand and uh, you know, everything's holding the camera, trying to unlock the gate. Oh, the gate's already unlocked. I, I anticipated on bringing it in. Here's the uh, daily driver van. Here's my baby. She feels good. My blinkers. I don't have the lights actually turned on, so let's turn on the lights. And now we should have those colored blinkers going with the rest of the blinkers. There you go, you see it? So now it's flashing all the way to the left or the right in your case. That's the colored blinkers right here. They're in color. I can change them any color I want. Which is blue. I think it's yeah, it's blue right in here. You see them on, just on, and they're blue. All right, let me go ahead and park this thing so we can get this job done for tomorrow. I think it'll be the very last time that I have to be in, you know, uh, adjust it. gigantic <laughs> now I did a whole lot better earlier when I pulled in with the can sitting over there so what the hell's the difference now Go let the doggies out. Put the daily driver out. Yeah. All right. 
I'll be editing this uh, video tonight and putting it in tonight. Shouldn't take that long because only it's a real short videos. So that's Handyman Lou with Handyman Garage with the V8 swap. I don't know if I showed you Speedmaster. I like the little, I like the Joker uh, skeleton. Summit, all the racing parts that are in this thing. There I am, Handyman Lou. You too. Alright, Handyman Lou out for Handyman's Garage with the B8 Swap S10 finally running the streets.